Hello everyone, it's me Eileen, aka The Little Crafter, and welcome to Arts, Crafts, and Everything in Between. We are doing a review of WrestleMania... 31. 31! I have my host and my co-host in life, David San Jose Mahabi. Hey, hon! Anyways, okay, so, what do you think? We was robbed. <laughs> Okay, before we get the, to the big rob, okay, the first match, I think that you're right. The Andre the Giant Royal Rumble is a, it's it's basically it's a prestige. That wasn't the first match. Which one was the first match? The first match was the tag team thing. Oh yeah. We didn't watch all of that. We didn't watch all of that, but um, unfortunately, um, the little bits and pieces that I did see. I can't stand Tyson Kidd. I said it from the beginning and I'll say it again. Oh my god, that man needs to be smacked. Using his wife as a barricade? Just disgusting. Disgusting. So, unfortunately, they retain, which I was hoping for the Usos to win that match. Now, the Royal Rumble, Andre Memorial uh, Royal Rumble? Yeah. Who won that one? Big Show. Um, actually, I was kind of hoping it, it was either him or, um, Mark Henry. Um. Yeah, Mark Henry is a favorite, too, until they threw him out. Yeah, they no. Threw him out. But, yeah, I was not hoping for Kane at all. Ryback was looking good, too, but he got thrown out. Oh, Ryback was another one that I was kind of hoping to win. I'm hoping and praying that they actually take Big Show and make him a good guy again. I'm not liking the heel. I like him as a heel, but not the heel he's playing. He's playing like a suck-up heel. Oh. Like a, like a pat. Not a patsy. A pansy? Like a pansy. Yeah, he's like a suck-up. A suck-up. Just a plain little suck-up. Suck yeah. yeah. No, okay. No bueno. No bueno. So that was one heck of a match. That for was the funny. That one was funny when, when Miz Dow threw out uh, Miz. That was an interesting match. Okay, so what about the Intercontinental title? What do you think of that one? I was hoping for um, either r truth or not who won. And I love the way you say it, so go ahead. You got to say it. Goat face for him, animal. <laughs> I was actually hoping either for R Truth or Ziggler to win. Um, but Daniel Bryan did prove Mr. Goodface, aka Goodface, did prove to be No, he earned it. It's not like he didn't earn it, but yeah. David is tired of the yes movement. Yes. <laughs> no. No, no. I want no, no, no. Um, okay, so what did you think of the Whatever the match was there? Oh, the Divas match. Well, it, was, it was all right, but you know, we didn't need a tag team Divas match. We needed a Divas title match. Yeah, I do definitely think that that would have been appropriate. They got they got plenty of women in there that can wrestle. And instead of flaunting them around in shorts, they can flaunt them around in shorts while they wrestle. <laughs> and they got to bring in a couple of big girls, too, because they can wrestle just as good or better than most of the other ones. <laughs> Well, you know that the WWE is all about looks and, and promoting... Bastards. <laughs> hey! Language! Uh, different stuff, but in anywho. Alright. I know the match you were waiting for because I know that you're... Oh, The Undertaker and Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt. I was excited about that match as well. That was a little bit of a gift for The Undertaker. Because he was looking tired. Yeah, he was, unfortunately. And that's probably because he hasn't been in the ring in a while. But. Yeah, but at least he looked better than he did the last oh, time. Yeah. You have to admit, when he first walked into the ring, he looked extremely yeah, pale. Last year he looked like crap. He, he did. He really did. You were just going to make me... What? Foul, foul, foul mouth. What the... I haven't said any four-letter words that are inappropriate. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Yeah, no, I and I did like I honestly did kind of like uh, Ray By White's um, entrance. I thought the that was pretty cool. Guys, the zombie type guys. Yeah, that was that was interesting. No, I've always liked Ray Wyatt too. He's pretty cool. I didn't like him when he was Funny Cena. I thought that that uh, gimmick that was, was that was that's, I think that was one of the things to help him go up. Yeah, he had to fight with somebody with a name because 
trying to just come up fighting nobodies, he'd still be a nobody. Yeah, and the Wyatt family thing. I think that it was, was pretty cool too. But I think it was a good idea that they because they broke up because now are, well, each and every one are you know in their perspective fields. The Wyatt's doing pretty good. Yeah. I still get the creeps with the guy with the mask, the sheep mask. That mask gives me the He's willies. A good guy doing it. He's I know, but it still gives me the willies. I don't know what it is about that sheep mask. It still gives me the willies. Um, it has not to be sheep. Yeah, I guess so. Alrighty. So, the match that I thought that we would never see Sting versus Triple H. Kind of a throwback, viejitos. <laughs> a bunch of old men in the ring, but it was funny. I thought it was very interesting. I, I thought that... I like how uh, Triple H shook his hand at the end of the match. I don't know what they said to each other, but I like how they shook hands. You know, showing them some respect. Mm-hmm. Uh, I didn't expect to see Shawn Michaels. That was, that was pretty yeah, interesting. that was funny. That was funny and interesting at the same time, but, you know, I think... Sean was like, okay, I'm still part of D Generation X. Yeah. And by that, D Generates X. Um, <laughs> going downhill. But, um, no, I, I thought that was... Like it. Yeah. And I thought that it was really, really sweet how they brought in the, the guys that um, won the, uh, the Hall of Fame. Not one, but have been entered in the Hall of Fame. All of them are Hall of Famers. Yeah, I thought that was pretty cool, but um, also, I thought that was really cool about the Connor thing, how they kind oh, of... Oh, you're talking about the Warrior Award, that's different. Yeah, the Warrior Award, I thought that was also you cool. gears on me. Sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to switch so many gears. It's just my brain is... How many cups of coffee did I have? I think it's like two. Uh, <laughs> Anyways, um, the other thing, I liked Triple, X, Triple H's entrance a lot. I think this year... I think it was a little too, I don't know, it was kind of a little bit of yeah, but it was a little bit of mm, reaching Arnold too much. I think he was trying to get his inner Arnold <laughs> way too much for this one. What did you think of the, that entrance? Mm, too long. <laughs> okay, now. We can talk about... Now we can talk about the robbery we, 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 we got. Oh, yes. We got robbed in the main event. Okay, so for the main event, my pick was Roman Reigns. And David's pick I was... Rock Lesnar. Rock Lesnar. So the house was divided. Uh, I mean, I knew that Seth Rollins was going to come out and do something. But the way they did it, I don't like it. They should have either had Roman Reigns win... Or Lesnar win, and he comes in, bash him with a chair, and cash in. That's it. But how he just came out and turns it into a triple threat and, and pins Roman Reigns for the title, it was kind of stupid. Yeah. Um, originally, I thought that that's what it was, that you had to literally pin the actual winner, per I se. Th I thought the contract was for a match against the champion. Not to change the rules of a match to allow you to come in it. Um, uh, the briefcase... Um, want to go into a little bit of the details of that because I can't remember all of it. The briefcase is basically it's a guaranteed match anytime, yeah, any anywhere. anytime, anywhere. So it could be outside of the ring, it could be dirty, it could be clean. As long as you got a referee, that's it. Yeah, just as long as you have enough referee in case any of you. I didn't understand how they can change the match and have it done that way. Yeah, that was kind of dorky and upsetting because Ro I think Roman really showed us how he could have been champion. I think that he could have stepped up the game. And I I also think that it's kind of messed up that, yes, Brock Lesnar was the champion, and everyone's saying, oh, he could he could easily be the champion until he decides to win. Exactly. He wanted to give it up. But my thing is, it's just that it's also, to me, what got me upset was that how could you have a champion that doesn't defend it? Like, that doesn't make any sense. That's like, to me, it's like robbing the WWE of, you know, their champion. Cena was always a fighting champion. Um, Triple H was always. Randy Orton was a fighting champion. I think even, um, who else held the title? The Rock was always a fighting champion. You know, those guys really put up 
they put up and they showed up and they did what they had to do to keep the championship for as, as long as they possibly could. But Brock, I don't understand how they let him skate like that. I think that that was like a smack That's in the face. Like I said, still, even though that was part of his contract, only because he wanted to pursue other things. But in years past, they wouldn't let the other wrestlers pursue any other thing but be the champion. See? That doesn't make any sense. Not true. They let the other guys do stuff. Yeah, but then they... they... give up the belt. Yeah, sometimes they have to give up the belt. Yeah, for injuries. Well, not all the time, but for movies sometimes. Depending on how long they were going to be gone. Depending. No, you don't think so? No, I don't think so. Well... It's possible, but I'm not into it like that. I kind of looked it up a little bit. Oh. Kind of a little bit. And certain movies at during times, certain things. Just All didn't... I know is we was robbed of knowing who was going to win. True that. I was robbed of gloating to your face that Brock oh. Lesnar <laughs> Roman Reigns his own butt. Gloating? No, 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 no. Even when he was getting slammed, that man smiled in his face. I was like, go ahead, do it again. Because it showed that he's dumb. No, it showed that he was ready to keep up the fight. And then I at think one point. spit out his own tooth. And at one point, Brock Lesnar got cocky and took him out of the ring. And then he got smashed in the face. Oh, no sympathy here for that man. None. Okay, he got a little cocky, but he could have ended it almost any time before that. Well, then why didn't he? Because he wanted to smack him down. He wanted, he wanted Reigns to quit. He wanted Reigns to quit. Well, I hate to say it, but I don't think Roman Reigns does not know the name, the word of quitting. Hello. He just smiled in his face and said, go ahead, keep trying. <laughs> if you guys could see his face, he has nothing to say because he knows it's the truth. And at one point, he thought that Roman was going to win. Untrue. Oh, lie. I don't lie. Tell the truth. You lie. Never. Why? I'll never admit to saying, yeah, Roman might win. Never. Yeah, okay. You know you just did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I'll, oh. I'll delete your podcast. <laughs> you don't know my password. <laughs> I'll turn off the internet so you can't publish it. Uh, whatever. Anyways, guys, I am so disappointed. I really enjoyed myself. I didn't get to watch the whole thing, but what I did watch, I was excited to watch, and I look forward to WrestleMania 32. I want my nine ninety nine back. <laughs> don't start that. <laughs> that was just I don't know, like ugh, that whole ninety nine. Give me my nine ninety nine back. Uh, campaign was just so, just because um Goatface didn't win. <laughs> That was pretty ridiculous. Anywho, guys, thank you so much for joining me. And thank you, hubby, for joining me once again on our podcast. You're welcome. All right, guys, you have a wonderful day. If you need um, any additional information on me, um, please look me up at EileenTheLittleCrafter.com. Bye for now.